Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all in this video. Uh, we have a wonderful person today with us, Ms. Sheetal Priyohit. She is co-founder and chief operating officer at Arisha EduSupport. She is also having a long years of experience mentoring lots and lots of students for SAT, ACT, IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT. The list is big. Wow. And she's also a great mentor for campus recruitment trainings, personality development, and she's also a motivational speaker. Welcome to the show, Ms. Sheetal. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much. Sheetal, today we, are, we have a lot of questions for you related to English language. You know, you know, there are many, uh, many students, working professionals who struggle a lot with this English language, seriously, you know. So we'll have, I'm going to have a series of questions to you. Just knowing this, you know, many, I'm sure many of them are going to get benefited out of this uh, response uh, for these questions. Okay, let me have the first question for you. Okay, what is the importance of English as a language for engineering students? See, uh, if you talk about uh, just the engineering students also, it's really very important. But in general, if you talk about no matter which field you have done your graduation, whether you have done it from like a uh, general, like uh, B, B, BA, BCom, BSc, or if you have done specifically your uh, BTech or some engineering, then it becomes even more important that you know your basic English skills. Communication skills plays a major role nowadays in terms of uh, sustaining in a job, right? So if your communication skills are not uh, good, then uh, you may miscommunicate uh, information which can create a lot of confusion in the organizations. So nowadays, of course, these when you're talking specifically about engineering graduates, Technically, they are really very sound. Their knowledge in terms of their, uh, if they, their field, like if they are from computer science background, they know a lot about computers. They, if mechanical uh, stream uh, students, they'll know about mechanical. So technical knowledge is there. But okay. what they are lacking nowadays, what employers, they tell us is that their basic communication skills are gap. So there's a gap in the communication skills. They are not able to express themselves. So now mm -hmm. to get a job, they can do the engineering degree. But to sustain a job, to like I can say to climb the ladder of success, soft skills, communication skills and the major language of communication nowadays in India or abroad is just one that is English. So they must have a good command over English language. Correct. Well said. So Sheetan, what one should do every day as a practice, you know, so that they can speak fluently or they can write mails or letters without uh, grammar errors, you know, there are a lot of confusions, even for working professionals, senior people also, with this propositions, a lot of trouble, you know, often, like whether to put uh, for or between, before, so many prepositions, so many connectors, which always creates a confusion. So what do you think that one should do on a daily basis to improve this? See, uh, yes, uh, a lot of confusion what you said is completely right I agree with that now the first thing is you have to make up a mind that yes I want to improve my English and it all starts by accepting the fact yes I lack certain things there are certain things which are good in my language skills if I talk uh, like there are certain things where all the certain places are there where gap is there which I have to fill up right so accept that there is something lacking so that acceptance once it comes in you that yes no matter whatever is my position what I have done my graduation there are lacks in my communication skills there are lacks in there's some lack in my like English so what do you have to do accept that then start working on it see it's English mm -hmm. is just a language it's not a rocket science or something like that right mm -hmm. so we India in fact Indians are the ones who are who actually speak uh, so fluently and so nicely in and around us we see speak, students wonder, speaking wonderfully in English so what is it it's all their hard work throughout their uh, like uh, educational academic career if I say or academic journey of their life what they have done so first thing is start talking in English with your friends like mm -hmm. yes leave that hesitation which is there in your mind because it's general tendency when we start talking with our friends we it automatically comes back to that vernacular language system so that is something which you have to remove it and you have to start discussing certain things with your friends also in English. That will remove your hesitation. Obviously, you will make mistakes. 
make hmm. friends with like minded people who correct you in fact i remember like initially even i used to make you also were making some mistakes hmm. so how we learned when our friends guided so peer learning is very important so when your friend tells something it goes in our head like uh, in our mind no very uh, quickly and we Easy. understand also correct. because their hmm. way hmm. of explaining hmm. is totally different no so that right. stays in our mind so we will never feel anybody... hurt we will not feel yeah, hurt when our hurt. friends yes yeah but hmm. somebody like no somebody else like uh, somebody your senior or as a teacher or somebody say sometimes we take it in a positive manner sometimes it hurts like no we feel kya hai hamesha like every time she is just giving us so first thing is whenever any gives anybody gives you a feedback right take that feedback in a very constructive way positive way improve that thirdly what you should do is start talking in english start start listening lot of stuff in english lot of uh, audio podcast are available listen them read mm-hmm. newspapers specifically if you are preparing from some competitive exams read the hindu if you are just generally preparing for your communication skills talking in the world out loud like no then read times of india both the stuff mm-hmm. are there like so times of mm-hmm. india is general communication related english uh, you will get good vocabulary you will see the sentence structure over and i suggest personally is like the old age method which even we have followed right read it in front of a mirror out loud then nobody mm-hmm. see look at uh, look at yourself how exactly you look while you are pronouncing a particular words look at your mm-hmm. facial expressions right so it mm-hmm. should not be like you are talking like a robot so all the expression should come mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. then uh, and listen record it listen so like when uh, one is look at yourself in the uh, mirror and then speak and then record yourself right mm-hmm. so then listen see how exactly my voice is uh, sounding to my ears so then you are your best critic and then improve wow. on those pronunciation mm. and slowly slowly it will come with the practice and do some mm. grammar related exercises a lot of mm. exercises internet is full of stuff which is available mm. Mm. Uh, like mm. for you to practice do something constructive take help from a teacher ask wow. us for guidance mm. at any shady mm. support will be mm. more than happy to help you <laughs> wow so such a big clarify. list of tips you have given sheetal very useful seriously so so many things whichever is whoever is comfortable with what they can take that take that up yes yeah very nice so uh, sheetal one more big question here is like whenever students have this uh, you know final year or third year of final year the campus recruitment training is a big thing for them the placements is uh, something like an ambition for every college students most of them right so how much verbal is important for this Uh, campus recruitment uh, process shikhar yes see verbal ability test uh, almost every company any organization if is going for the for campus recruitment uh, no then they definitely give you one paper right so mm-hmm. which is like where they'll test your verbal ability things in that what is the structure if to tell you is they'll give you one reading comprehension related to that reading comprehension few questions will be there some vocab related questions are going to be there like synonyms or antonyms will be there sometimes uh, they'll just ask you uh, like uh, they'll give you a filling the blank types and then some four mm-hmm. options will be mm-hmm. there which is the most suitable word so that way they'll check your vocabulary they'll check okay. your reading comprehension skills mm-hmm. in reading mm-hmm. comprehension also the contextual vocabulary they'll ask you so here mm-hmm. those two things are there then they'll ask you something about grammar specifically mm-hmm. as you what you said like people like prepositions they can be totally used <laughs> with these prepositions yes. so a lot of questions related to prepositions you will get you will get mm-hmm. questions related to subject verb agreement you will get mm-hmm. questions related to article something like which uh, we all have uh, like yes. no studied from the like uh, maybe uh, second or third standard on a and, a and a and so now related yeah. to that also the questions will come and students they get totally confused what mm-hmm. i should put whether mm-hmm. i should put a or n or do see this is something which you have to study right mm-hmm. so i don't say that students who have uh, who uh, like who completed their graduation or they are in the third year or final year of their graduation of uh, engineering or whichever graduation they are doing they have not studied in english they have studied but what has happened these grammar related things we have studied long back in our school so by the mm-hmm. time we come to mm-hmm. our college we forget them so okay. revise them whenever if mm-hmm. any if your college is organizing some uh, campus recruitment training program or you can join some organization for like us erisha edu support is providing you the campus recruitment training program you can join us we'll give you the basics like so little brush up and some exercises how exactly the questions could mm-hmm. be asked so if, these are the all these stuff if you know para jumbles will be there like the jumble sentence will be there the paragraphs mm-hmm. will be jumbled so 
it's not it, it is something if i would say being in the training industry from a longer duration uh, for so many years i can say whatever majorly you see in your campus recruitment english verbal paper something similar to that you will see in uh, your cat exam similar not not exactly mm -hmm. the level of difficulty mm -hmm. will be obviously low, but you can see the para jumbles something with uh, cat may or uh, bank po ssc so that means the competitive exams also they ask you all these Correct. things right Correct. so then if you are going for mba exams also they are asking you if you talk about mm -hmm. uh, reading comprehension you take your gmat or gre or cat everywhere the reading comprehension is there so that means these are yeah. the basic skills which are needed to do your post graduation or to get a job right mm -hmm. the level of difficulty of the question will be changing as per the demand or the nature of the thing so which mm -hmm. means these are very essential things so the conceptual mm -hmm. things are there strategies are very important so if you know the strategy properly you take a proper training from a proper mentor proper coach then what will happen these campus recruitment papers are pretty easy as compared to these standardized tests or the competitive exams which you are doing right for the mm -hmm. government services mm -hmm. and all so why not prepare them at a lower level get some strategies right get a job enter into it because in campus recruitment we do teach soft skills also so i mm. hope that answers your question yes yes shita very much actually so what i understand is when in the college level itself if they are trained for this then they can handle any competitive exams coming in future right yes at least they'll have a fair picture like Correct. they know what exactly i'm going to face uh, further maybe, down the line maybe maybe right? in competitive exams the number of questions difficulty level section to section will vary but overall it's going to be again reading comprehension grammar these are the things again go ahead these tested. are the only things like you take up any paper for that matter uh, all these are the things which will be the gre vocabulary and reading comprehension mm -hmm. gmat grammar is there then uh, reading comprehension is there mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. if you talk about cat also all these stuff is there bank po ssc you name a exam and these are the things which are there mm -hmm. so why not prepare yourself when you are studying also at Correct. least like no you will know how exactly the questions are there basic strategy you know the level of difficulty will be low but mm -hmm. then this will help you to crack the later on exams also mm -hmm. you know what is the road map which you have to face Hmm. So, Sheetal, when you were saying you were talking about GRE, GMAT, etc. So now that comes to my mind. What are these English proficiency tests, Sheetal? Can you say something about this? Who has to take this? And uh, a little details about this test. Yeah. See, English proficiency tests are like uh, you can say IELTS is there, and then TOEFL is there. TOEFL mm -hmm. is most widely accepted test, which is uh, there uh, everywhere in most of the mm -hmm. university, almost any university like Australia, Canada, New Zealand. You can say UK, US, everywhere. You uh, this uh, TOEFL test is accepted. So these mm -hmm. are some of the most majorly things. So in that, the major part is TOEFL is accepted, and TOEFL tests you on your academic style English. So how well or how successfully you can communicate in uh, English language in mm -hmm. the academic setting. So this mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. is tested by your uh, TOEFL test. So now okay. when you are going to college, like you know, already students, I gen, I would strongly say that students, if they will prepare for TOEFL, mm -hmm. they will score a higher, like you no, know, their their scores will be very high, and they can easily score because what exactly mm -hmm. the test in this TOEFL is like academic style English only. So what exactly mm -hmm. we do in a campus? So we mm -hmm. listen to a lecture, and while Correct. we are listening to the lecture, we'll take notes. right mm -hmm. and then we'll have one uh, book also open in front of us of that huh. same chapter we are reading huh. that chapter we are listening to the lecturer and then we are taking notes uske huh. baad mein then what we do we make our own answers then the question paper will be given and whatever we have heard whatever we read whatever the notes we made we combine everything and then we reproduce in front of uh, in our exams and then okay. that's what that's how so this is what you're doing it throughout your life Mm -hmm. maybe like mm -hmm. from the 9th standard onwards i think in india students are yes, taking yes, yes. notes right yes. so Even, this is what uh, you are doing yeah. it from the 9th yeah. standard till mm -hmm. your graduation you are doing the same thing you know the same mm -hmm. thing you have to do it in uh, toefl also toefl also so, okay. to So mm -hmm. academic style uh, English they'll test like how well you can understand. So the two types will be there. One conversation will be in the campus, like what all say campus or the school. Same mm -hmm. thing. Where mm -hmm. are you going? Have you done finished your homework? Or this problem is there? That problem is there? Somebody will give one solution. Another one will give another solution. I don't agree. So these kind of the conversations are very common. You are going through these conversations in your daily life. The same thing mm -hmm. you will listen in the two full also. 
so mm. it's exactly similar to your daily life situation academic style mm. english which you are doing it right so once you are trained into it then this test will not be very difficult for you yes ielts is also there but yeah there this is also another accepted but i personally feel toefl is easy to score and it is more okay. accepted okay great yes. okay so uh, toefl is accepted in which countries Sh shidil Uh, as I told just now, like it's accepted in Australia, Canada, okay. Okay. Uh, New Zealand, UK, US, everywhere, mm -hmm. almost and everywhere. How, it is okay, great. How long it takes for a student to prepare themselves for TOEFL exam? The TOEFL exam, if you talk about Edisha Edu support, I can say like if you take our classes for forty-five hours, classes will be there. So in those forty five hours, we'll teach you reading, writing, listening, uh, speaking sections will be there. So you can say eleven uh, hours per uh, subject, like you no know, reading eleven hours, twelve each one eleven or twelve hours, depending upon the need or the demand of the student. And mm -hmm. after that, we give you twenty hours of test papers, mock okay. tests, right? Okay. So after with this, a student will be ready to take up the uh, TOEFL test. Mm -hmm. However, in case if student is not comfortable, like and is not ready mm -hmm. to take mm -hmm. up the test, what we say is like we mm -hmm. have so many test materials, so much of material is there with us. And okay. since we are also the strategic uh, training partners and marketing market ambassadors for ETS, the TOEFL creators. We have okay. so much of material which is like directly from the test makers only. So we can provide Great. you with mm -hmm. plenty ample amount of the mock test. Mm -hmm. So mock mm -hmm. test is something which is very important, which we will Great. provide you. Mm -hmm. And uh, our trainers are all certified by ETS. So what mm -hmm. we do is once uh, you a child or a student takes up the test, each and every mistake is discussed, and we tell like how exactly this particular mistake could be rectified. Learning mm -hmm. from your mistake, mm -hmm. right? So every mock test will be discussed in detail. So once, if I'll discuss three or four mock tests of TOEFL with them, so definitely the fifth test, the number of mistakes will be reduced, and then he will that student start gaining confidence, and at the end, like of his journey, he will get wonderful scores. This is what I am telling you from my experience. People mm -hmm. may say that we will teach you sixty hours, seventy hours, two months. That's not needed, right? Of mm -hmm. course, if one student is little uh, weak or he needs little Got extra it. time, we mm -hmm. give you unlimited time, no problem. So, mm -hmm. you, if you want to study, we are there to help you. Okay. But, however, Great. if you study nicely and you prepare, uh, follow instructions, then sixty hours more than sufficient. Great. Okay. And what skills are tested? Uh, they test you on four skills: reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Okay, great. So one who prepare for uh, TOEFL, either they study abroad or not, but definitely their communication, the English language is going to be high. Definitely, I personally feel like now, no, this TOEFL should be uh, like because it's academic style. So this mm -hmm. is my personal view that mm -hmm. uh, if I talk about uh, Northern India, there like no schools, Indian uh, English medium schools are there. But what happens? The students they don't even though they are going to English medium schools, their communication skills are not really very great. No, they'll speak in their vernacular language only. Maybe mm -hmm. they'll go mm -hmm. or like, in if you talk about northern side, the mm -hmm. Rajasthan side, their their English mm -hmm. good English medium schools are there, but the communication skills are poor. Right? The students mm -hmm. still talk in Hindi. Mm -hmm. Or certain yeah. places in Kerala also I have seen. Students they have this uh, problem. I have uh, seen in some certain schools or some kids with. Uh, in Tamil also, they, mm -hmm. because see, it's a mother tongue influence. No, we we Correct. students end up even though we send them. So if you imagine a to TOEFL training, like no basics starting onwards, we start because any which way students who want to go abroad mm -hmm. uh, after twelve they are giving this. So my mm -hmm. test will start preparing it. At least your communication skills, your English will be great, right? That's what. So that's it will what, help great. you everywhere. So communication Maybe skills are important. There's no harm. Yeah. Any okay. is going to be a great thing for any student who prepared to. Any course, student is right? going to be helpful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah because as I great. told you, it's something which you do every day. It's academic mm -hmm. style English, and our children are living in the academic scenario only. <laughs> Half of their life. Yeah. So Shethil, yes. one last thing. Okay, that's a great thing. You yes. have patiently answered so many of my questions. One last thing is. It's my like, pleasure. <laughs> what is your one advice? Okay, for those who struggle, you know, with this English language, uh, in day to day life, you know, and they are look forward to improve their communication skills with English. What is that one advice you 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 like to share with us? 
I I would just give uh, them the same advice, like like all those advice. So because see, first thing is accept. Can Second, you... decide. Huh. Right, that yes, you have to decide now that dream, desire, determination should be there. That yes, hmm. I want to improve. This if this is there, then a lot of mentors like no, you can ask us. Our Eddie Shared You Support mentors mm -hmm. will definitely mm -hmm. teach you even if you need mm -hmm. some help mm -hmm. in the communication mm -hmm. skills or uh, anything. But mm -hmm. on your own also you can do. Read newspapers, read them out loud, listen to English podcasts, listen to uh, or watch English movies, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Talk with your friends and like forget about shyness. No, everybody is sailing mm -hmm. in the same boat. Mm -hmm. Nobody is perfect in English. Today, mm -hmm. uh, like I may speak, but 10 years, 20 years back, if you see that, do you really think that the same confidence uh, 30 years back I had in me may not mm -hmm. be? Even mm -hmm. you may not have because mm -hmm. it all comes with age, with practice. Correct. So Correct. nobody whom you're seeing uh, communicating in a wonderful way is like was like that in uh, initial stages, right? Mm -hmm. We all decided and we all started talking. Right, uh -huh. so confidence uh -huh. is very important. Believe in yourself, it's just uh -huh. the language, it's not a rocket science. If I can speak, if Nirmala, Nirmala can speak, if others are speaking around you, you can also speak. Accept the fact and uh -huh. then start working on it. We are there, so many people will be ready to help you. We are there to help you always. You can always approach us at uh, any shared you support. We will be more than happy to help you related to any queries related to English. And if your child wants to do TOEFL or anything related to test prep, we are there to help you. That's really wonderful, uh, Sheetal. Seriously, it is a motivation uh, for every for anyone who wants to improve their English language. Just listening to this uh, conversation, definitely they are going to take the next step. I'm sure about it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, answering this question. Thank questions. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you, Nirmala.